how many months before the FE exam did you begin studying? So you did mention that you, you started studying about a month and a half. So because your exam was on March, but it got rescheduled to June. And then, and so before June, you started studying a month and a half before that, but then it got rescheduled to September. Did you continue studying or did you stop or did you take any breaks? So before that, so we look back at March, right? Um, I think I went, I, I took the, well, let's see. So I took, when I failed it the last time was um, probably June or July of 2018, late, and I was going to try to take it end of the year of, of 2019 or whenever I pass it. You know. um, I think I just started studying. And I think what I devoted was from January through um, close to March right before I took it, I was devoting um close to three to four hours a day monday through friday um and, and like i said it was it worked out with work i was able to do that um so i kind of used that time and that really helped get me ready i think in march but not quite so once we got everything delayed i think i waited about a month and then started studying up again a couple hours and i don't i think what was nice is i didn't go big heavy the four hour blocks like i was doing um but i definitely don't think i ever stopped studying i think i just stayed studying one thing i know you probably laugh at me or people are gonna laugh at me but um what i started doing here you know i'm i'm working out of town right and i'm tra traveling at least two two and a half hours uh one way you know um and i started just listening to <laughs> your videos some of the other youtube um video i've got the what the professor named from Marshall's university, I'd listened to his deal. So I started doing that, right. Um, just to start pushing the hearing everything more and more, you know? Um, so I started doing that the last close to the last two months, probably, uh, or a little bit more that I just started valuing that extra time, you know, just listening and I think it, it helped. Um, so I was kind of tough cause it was hard, you know, you'd get a schedule and then work would hit. So I was like, can I study? Can I not study? I'm tired, not, you know, and trying to juggle that. But I would say I pretty much devoted about a good two hours every night the last um, month and a half, two months before this last time I was taking it. Okay, awesome. I think what I like about your plan is that the first couple months from January to March, you kind of were doing a lot of studying, three hours to four hours a day. I, I would say that is really intense, especially if you're working full time, which is your case. Um, usually I, I recommend my students, you know, like an hour, two hours a day. And then during the weekend, maybe increase that to five hours Saturday and Sunday, uh, because it can, you can burn out real quick if you work, you know, and then especially you have a family, you have kids, you work for hours, you sleep, you wake up, you go to work and you just repeat that routine can really burn you out fast. But Besides that, when you started studying from January to March, you kind of tr were trying to cement all the material and just like, just kind of learn. You just, especially because you've been out of school for a while. And so you kind of just try to learn everything. And you were trying to cram it all because you are, were trying to, I remember because you were trying to study a lot. And then we also did like a, a private session for like, what was it like three or four hours straight like we were both so <laughs> tired afterwards like you were tired and i was like tired like yeah, and yeah. then and that was like two or three days before your exam and then so it did get rescheduled because of covid and I, and you did take a couple months off or you did take a couple weeks off and i think that was really important because that break what happened is that your brain was trying to process everything that you were trying to cram in those three months and I think after that, when, when you processed it and then you felt recharged and you felt like you were ready again, when you were reviewing, you kind of just reinforced all the concepts that you learned in that three months. So it was really interesting how like, like it's almost like it's great that it got postponed because it worked out great for you because the way how it was like, you know, like it, it worked out, you know, you were able to like learn everything and then you took some time off to recharge and then you were able to again study and then just reinforce some of those concepts and then also i did add some more problems by the time you were preparing for your last attempt um and so that really worked out great for you as well so i think sometimes you know it's just important especially for because i do have a lot of students who've been out of school for a while and it's just tricky because you haven't seen this material in a long time 
And so sometimes you just need a couple months just to kind of learn in the, the information and then take some time off and then come back to it and then review again. And then this time you're going to really understand what you were doing because you've been out of school for a while. So I do recommend this to a lot of students. Uh, for those of you guys who are watching this, like if you've been out of school for a while, I think it's really important to build the foundation first because you forgot all this material. And once you build that foundation and you just go to as many problems as possible, just go to as many concepts as possible and just keep going and then maybe take a couple of weeks off just like as a break, exactly like how you did and then come back and then just reinforce the concept. And that's when everything will start to connect. And then you're going to see that big picture, like the aha moment that you had. That was pretty much you. You got that big picture of the whole thing. And that's what I really tried to do because like, if, I'm not sure if you noticed, but if we in mechanics of materials, I do bring up problems in like statics, like in one problem, we could do static mechanics of materials and fluid mechanics in one problem. And I do that so that way you guys see that, you know, engineering, they're all connected. And once you see that big picture, that's when you're ready to take your FE exam. Um, and I think that's really important to have. But before you get to that point, you got to be patient with yourself. You got to build that foundation. And then you just got to keep adding more and more as you go. And as you keep studying, you keep reinforcing the concepts. Everything will eventually one day, you will just have the aha moment and everything will just click. If you found these videos helpful and they help you prepare better for your FE exam, please let me know in the comments below so that I make more videos like this in the future. And also don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each time I post new videos. Also, if you want to watch more videos, make sure that you check out one of these videos or you can also go to my channel and there are a lot more videos there. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine.